Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going through the topic of mass and weight. So here are a few things that we want to cover today and we'll begin the video. Just have a quick read through that first. So the first question is what is mass? Uh, mass is just defined as the amount of matter that makes up an object and matter is pretty much just the stuff that makes up the universe. Uh, so anything that occupies space and has mass is considered matter, which is pretty much just the building blocks of you know everything in the universe. So mass is measured in the units of kilograms, which uh, we should be fairly familiar with. Um, and the interesting concept here is that all masses have something called inertia, which is pretty much defined as the resistance to change in motion. For something to be still and suddenly move, and or something for 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 something that is already moving to suddenly come to a stop, um, for every object that has mass, they will have some level of resistance to it for ch changing in, in its uh, motion. And the larger the mass, the larger the inertia is. So for example, you might think of like a really, really heavy truck that is standing still. And if you suddenly want to get that truck to move, it's going to take uh, quite a bit of effort to, to, to do so because they've got a high level of inertia. And same thing as uh, a truck that is moving at a really, really high speed and for it to suddenly stop it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of effort to make that truck stop because it's got a high level of inertia that's why it's so dangerous sometimes when a truck is you know traveling at a really really high speed on a highway or something and uh you know for it to suddenly stop it's it's pretty difficult so it uh, the truck gets carried forward even after the truck driver might push on the brakes um, and that's all due to inertia. Uh, you know, the uh, higher the mass, the higher the resistance to changing in motion. Um, so that's important. Now, oppositely for something that weighs much less, uh, well, in fact, something that has much less mass, um, then they've got a lower level of inertia. So, you know, if you think of uh, a small little insect like an ant or something, then for it to go from zero speed to high speed, it will take much less effort than that truck that we talked about. And same scenario with, uh, you know, an ant, say, already in motion and you suddenly want it to stop. Well, that's not going to take that much effort uh, compared to the example of the truck that we talked about before. So that's, that's inertia. Um, now, how is mass different from weight? Well, you know, mass and weight is commonly used, uh, you know, in, in the same terms in common English, but it's actually not the same in the realm of physics. Weight is actually uh, considered what we call the force on a mass and due to gravity. And the gravity on Earth is always constant at 10 meters uh, per second per second. Uh, which is this unit over here. And so the formula for weight is weight, which is capital W, is equal to the mass of the object times the gravitational pull, which is 10, as I said before. Um, so for example, if you had person A, right, that uh, has a mass of say 60 kilograms, then the weight, which is actually the force, would be 60 times 10. Okay, so that's the gravity, which is constant. Um, and so what you would get would be 600 newtons. And it's a newton because weight is a force. Okay, uh, now you might want to compare that to person B, for instance, that might have a mass of, say, 80 kilograms. And so the weight of this person would be 80 times 10, which is 800 newtons, right? So very important fundamental difference between mass and weight. Remember, weight is the force that uh, is applied to the mass. Mass is pretty much just the amount of matter of that object or person.
Okay, so um, in the next video, we'll be talking, taking a look at uh, density. This was a fairly short video just to demonstrate the difference between mass and weight and also the concept of inertia as well. Um, so I hope you found the video helpful and in the next video, we'll take a look at uh, density. Uh, thank you very much.